Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I made the Keeper as a doll from Not Scary Farm. Revealed at Midsummer Scream 2023, the Keeper is a new icon for this year's 50th anniversary, inspired by the event's original host, Seymour. This was kind of an impulse decision because the Not Scary Farm Nightmares Revealed event is coming up and I wanted to do something a little special. So, with only four days until the event, let's begin! First, I start off with this BMR Ken doll. The only thing I needed to do was remove the flocking on his head, so I soaked it in acetone for a little bit and scraped it off. Then, with my Milliput epoxy clay, I started sculpting his face. After his face was sculpted, I got to painting it. Sorry I didn't record much, I like having the doll right in front of my face when I work on the face, so I only recorded some parts. Don't forget to paint his hands, and gloves. He looks kinda like Freddy Krueger here without the mustache. After the base colors were down, I did some shading with chalk pastels. And to seal it all up, I used Mr. Super Clear. Lastly, I glossed up his eyes. Then for his mustache and hair, I used some brushed out yarn wefts that I created by wrapping some yarn around a coat hanger, brushing it out, and straightening it with a flat iron. Then I glued it on his face with some Fabri-Tac glue and trimmed it. Then for his hair, I glued it on with some hot glue and then also gave it a style. Next for his hat, I followed my Froggy Stuff's fedora hat tutorial and made it out of black felt. I didn't have gray fabric for the strip, so I just painted some white fabric gray and glued it on. Next for his clothes, I create a white top and then de-stress the sleeves. Then for his cape, I made it out of black and red fabric. In this footage, the cape looks a bit too small, so off camera, I made a new fuller one. His blazer, pants, and shoes I got from Amazon. Then after the clothes were made, I distressed them. I also did some weathering with some black paint. And for the spider webbing effect, I used some spray on glue that I put in between my fingers, stretched it out, and then put it on the clothes. 
This was a lot of trial and error, so I kind of did this off camera. Upon closer inspection for his little accessories, his buttons have a little skull in the center. So I got these little bracket things from Joann's and sculpted a little skeleton on top of four of them. Then I painted them black and silver. I also painted just some singular skulls and some skull and crossbones the same color. Lastly, since the event is launching the interactive lantern for the first time, I thought I should create a mini one for him. I got this lantern from Joann's and it was already a perfect base. However, it didn't have any light fixtures, so I had to make one myself. I created it using a multicolored LED and just using some sticky tack to put the battery in. It can only be turned on and off with removing the battery, but it's the best I could do last minute. And with that being said, he's finally done. I'm also going to go over and do a little mini vlog just to show you guys what the event was like. So first off, they revealed three new mazes. Cinema! <laughs> Take in a fright-filled flick at the Midnight Theater, but you may find yourself in a starring role. Venture through the screen itself and into the movie worlds of the cinema slasher. Will you make it to the sequel or wind up another victim of the Midnight? Theater. Shh. Ah. The movie's starting, and it's gonna be a killer one. <laughs> Coming to memory lane, it's room 13. <laughs> a dangerously addictive new cocktail named the Devil's Elixir lies at the blood red heart of the Blind Tiger murders. But where did it come from? Check into the extravagant Argive Hotel where you may find the answers, or you may not be found at all. To celebrate our 50th anniversary, we are debuting the modern version. Last up of the new mazes, the Chilling Chambers. But don't take my word for it. Please welcome the murderous maniac who presides over the chamber itself, the Keeper. Ultimate, not scary farm, 50th anniversary tribute maze, the Chilling Chambers. A new-ish scare zone? The Gauntlet returns! and two new shows. Music, monsters, and mayhem. We'll take you from the dark and ominous streets of Calico to the frightening and terror-filled doll factory and to the fiery depths of hell itself. Yeah. This is a high-energy stage show with, which features high-octane choreography, a rock and musical score, and hosts a cast of 24 singers, dancers, and comedians. Then Ray and I booked it to the tribute store and luckily we got in and oh my god, it is amazing. But the checkout line took forever so a lot of our time got eaten up at the tribute store.
then on our way out, we actually bumped into Mouse Vibes, which I created custom Barbie dolls for them. Then we wanted to see the keeper, because obviously, and he wasn't there. So instead, we looked at the amazing costumes from the new Scare Zone The Gauntlet created by Lori Lee. And then we heard that Keeper was making his way back to the photo op, so we booked it. And here's his reaction to the doll. Oh, oh yes. The uh, distinct unpleasure of the uncanny light. I, I think he looks quite beautiful. Like great. <laughs> I can tell the rigor mortis has set in properly. <laughs> <laughs> and who might make this? Is it you? Mm -hmm. What is your name? Jax. Jax. Wickedly talented. Thank but you. let me ask you a question. Yes. Can you do the same thing for about that size? Um, if I get a mannequin, yeah. Uh, mannequin? Yeah. Why waste your talents? You have so many victims. I mean, guess who tonight? <laughs> then, with a little bit of time before the closing ceremonies, we talked to one of the creators for the new maze, Cinema Slasher. Then, it was time for a hanging. <laughs> was super fun but I feel like it was pretty short for the amount of stuff you could do and while we were there we also bumped into a few friends it's always a blast seeing and talking to you guys again and I hope we meet again in the fog and without further ado here's what I bought first I got this pumpkin plush based off the ones in calico then I got this vintage frame a not scary farm 50th anniversary patch of course the lantern and the history book, which I actually didn't know till I got home. Mine is one out of the 50 signed by the author, which is amazing. And last but not least, they handed out two free items on the way out, a print of the Chilling Chambers maze and a pin of the man himself, the keeper. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.